Hi Capricorn, welcome to this reading. You might find it resonates more though if this is your um, moon or rising sign, but let's see. So, okay, we have the King of Swords reversed, uh, Ten of Swords reversed, okay. We have Justice, Libra energy there. That's very interesting. What's this? A key. Oh, wow. And it says Pandora. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, that's interesting with that Ten of Swords reverse and the King of Swords reverse. Okay, Capricorn, it looks to me that this is someone who is holding back their truth and it's causing them a lot of pain to do so but they're kind of weighing up what's worse the pain that they're going through in not being able to be authentic or not speaking up about some injustice they're dealing with versus what would happen if they did speak up you know opening pandora's box <clears throat> okay we have what's this the eight of pentacles in the reverse nine of pentacles reversed this feels like someone who's being forced to be silent um like a situation or another person has really got them backed into a corner and i'm going to be the first person to say you know nobody should let anyone else control them and everyone should just you know speak their truth blah 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 so i'm not i'm not just throwing this out there and, and saying it lightly like oh your person's being controlled because well, you know, I, that's just not something I'm, I'm just going to say casually, but I actually do feel that someone might have something over this person um, or they're threatening them in, in, in some way. Like, well, if you say such and such or do such and such, I will spread a lie or a rumour and you know people will believe me or I will reveal something about you that will ruin your career or your rep reputation. It could even be something from many, many years ago that this person has dealt with, moved forward from whatever it is but this person will bring it up and use it against them um okay <clears throat> we have the queen of wands we have temperance sagittarius see i was just talking about balance having to to weigh up you know which situation is going to cause the least amount of chaos because neither option is good you know either they continue what they're doing which seems to be leading to no contact with you lots of pain for them and probably you know it, it's definitely not pleasant for you um or walking into i'm thinking that message a message about a soldier predominantly is saying they know they're going to have to go to battle if they open their mouth and speak some kind of truth um it could even be they know something about this person that seems to be in a way almost controlling or blackmailing them um and it could even be the truth that this other person is threatening them with is their truth it's not about your person but they will flip the script and people will believe them for some reason um and then we have the five of cups hmm. on the back the ace of cups reversed okay this feels pretty heavy capricorn um and i wonder if this is going to be a really specific reading that doesn't resonate with too many i mean obviously if we're talking about someone who feels backed into a corner um and a third party whatever kind of third party that is we can be looking at a scale you know it could be from oh it's just awkward for them right through to this borders on you know maybe even illegal what this person is doing um, I feel it's, it's what I'm looking at here is more towards the kind of serious end. At the very least, I would say what this third party is doing or saying is definitely morally illegal and karmically questionable. Um, so I, I would say Capricorn, your purse is dealing with something pretty intense and they're not happy. And as far as they can see, whether they continue on the path they're on or make a change, it's going to continue to be difficult. It's almost like, does it stay difficult in the way it is, or do they take action, speak up, and make things even more difficult, but try and push through that to get to the other side, um, to get some kind of justice for themselves and to get free of whatever this situation is. So I don't, excuse me, I don't know if they were the karmic, I don't know if it's um, a family situation or if it's a work situation. Maybe it could be a couple of those, like say a karmic that they work with, you know, I don't know. Um, <clears throat> but this feels pretty heavy. Let's see what else. I'm 
seeing the Wheel of Fortune, so we have double Sagittarius, which could be relevant for somebody, but I feel that, you know, spirit might step in here because this doesn't feel right at all. What else, please? What else for Capricorn? What's going on during this period of no communication? Yeah, my thoughts so. Four of Cups, Eight of Cups. This is someone who absolutely sees this opportunity with you and they want it, but they may have turned around and walked away, which has been baffling for you. Just know it's not because of you or their feelings having changed um, for you. It's because of something external to this connection. External, but definitely impacting it. See, look, biting their tongue. Knight of Swords reversed. <clears throat> Queen of Swords. Um... Yeah, there's definitely someone else here. We have the lovers in reverse. This other person could possibly know about you. Um, if they don't know it's it's you and like they don't know you by name or picture or anything like that, they might just have a sense there's someone else around. Um, I just I just feel whoever this person is, as I said, whatever kind of third party this is, romantic or platonic, they have some kind of awareness and they're actively getting themselves involved in your person's life their decision making making things difficult for your person trying to keep them stuck um i mean we can have a look at why they're doing this i don't think it really matters too much it's more the fact that they're doing it but let's see seven of wands reversed <coughs> death and the two of oh okay they feel so for, for many of you this will be romantic but it's like they feel that your person will leave them and go and find something better with you with you which actually yes i think they would um now if it's not romantic let's say it's a parent or something like that this parent has an inappropriate level of interest in your person's romantic life um or has like an unhealthy emotional attachment to your person um Yeah, something, something about this third party just feels off uh, and really, really inappropriate. And that's like me phrasing it sort of lightly there or casually. Um, there could be a Scorpio involved. I think this person as well, this third party is used to your person submitting to them, submitting to their will. They may have sort of beaten your person down, whether it's emotionally, psychologically. Like, honestly, this, this feels serious. And if this isn't, if you're like, oh, this is a bit much, this, this is not my situation, I would definitely say today is not your reading because there's like one clear, big, consistent message here and it does feel serious. It does feel intense. It, um, it does feel like your person, if this is your reading, is dealing with a situation and a person that's really difficult. So difficult, in fact, that they, you know, they knew what they had in front of them with you, which opportunity, and they still had to, to walk away from that because they thought it was the better thing to do, maybe for themselves, even for you. Okay, let's see what their messages would be for you then at this time. I'm Look, see, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I Thank you. I love you. So... It's almost like, I'm sorry, please forgive me. I know I did things that you didn't understand and I didn't get a chance to explain to you and I still haven't been able to explain. I didn't want to, to take the action that I took. Um, yeah, okay, let's see, what else? I've given it so much thought. I know it to be my, my deepest truth. I choose you, no matter how things look on the outside, you are my person and I only want you. Please trust me on that. Yeah, because from the outside, it might look like they're fully bedded down in whatever this other situation is and that they actively walked away from you. Sometimes I just don't see how we can overcome our differences. I feel so discouraged right now. I'm trying to find a way to you, but I'm just deflated at the moment. I need a miracle. This is interesting. I'm not sure they feel that you have differences between you, but the rest of the, the message I can see connecting here to this reading, you know, feeling discouraged, trying to find a way to you, but feeling like it would take a miracle because whatever's going on is very intense. I don't trust this connection right now. Maybe it's what my friends have been saying. I'm just feeling skeptical. Am I imagining this delusional? Have you cast a spell on me? I hope it's real. So they could, I definitely feel they don't trust this other person, no question, but they could be wondering about the strength and the, 
how realistic the connection here is with you. They, they feel it, but maybe it never got a chance to really ground to like weather some storms and that sort of thing, because it's like, if I manage to pull through what I'm going through here, I really, really need to know that what I'm feeling between us is real and serious and that you will be there. Um, and also if making this change means they're about to have their name dragged through the mud or something like that, you know, they don't want to do that for no reason. Although I would say, I mean, I kind of think they need to get out of whatever situation this is anyway with this third person, third party, just for themselves, you know? Okay, what else would this person like to say to Capricorn, please? Det yeah, detachment, I had to let this go so I could clear my mind. Yeah, they didn't want to, they had to. What I will say as well about this other person who's showing up in this reading, they don't seem as nasty as they are. Um, and I, I mean, actually, I do, when I say nasty, I do mean it like they are deliberately, consciously finding ways to manipulate your person and to, to kind of be mean and cruel. Um, but they might come across as very charming, fun, uh, relaxed, light-hearted. Um, they might have sort of a superficially attractive energy about them, which of course, you know, I've just realized it could be that your person is dealing with a narcissist, not someone just with narcissistic tendencies or traits, but like a full-blown narcissist who's perfectly happy with themselves and the way they live and the way they treat people and embrace it and keep perpetuating that behavior um <clears throat> yeah this uh, as i said someone who superficially is very very charming if your person was to go out and, and tell like an, um someone they know about this person you know it would be hard to believe that, that this charming person has had such a different side to them it's that sort of thing and that's why, you know, they possibly one of the reasons why they have this hold on your person, because they know people like them. They know people trust them and believe them. We have space. I need more time to think. New chapter. I am trying to move on. Yeah, so they are trying. They are con um, constantly thinking here about how to move forward, how to move out of this, how to move towards you confusion i feel unclear about where we stand so this is someone who is worried about your connection especially if you've been in no contact for some time um you know i do you still feel the same is the connection still um available to them have they missed this opportunity would you still welcome welcome them um yeah if they move forward into this new chapter in their life they really want to know um that they can move forward towards you thing is though i mean i think even if you've tried been trying to reach out to this person even if you've been you know trying to send them messages and you know it could be that they've just ignored them so you might feel like well there's nothing more i can do i can't possibly reassure them any more than i have um because i just get the feeling they haven't been in a position to respond or reply and as I said before, this is definitely not me making excuses for them because I will be the first person to talk about, you know, the basic level of respect would be just respond to a message, even if to say I'm not interested, you know? Um, I do think something's going on here. And just to say, this card just popped out, the Ace of Wands. Um, okay, so let's get you a couple of cards, guidance and advice. We have maybe, maybe not. Interesting, we have a snake on this card. Uh, I'm thinking of, you know, the sort of like the snake in the garden of eden um there's some trickery something's not as it seems um and i have to be honest that maybe maybe not maybe this person will be able to move forward or maybe not it's just uh, i don't know i see they're trying i see they're thinking the ace of wands is very encouraging but there's something big they will have to to stand up to and face i think we have usual intuition and we have, oh good, it will work out in your favour. Okay, well that's good to see. Okay, so I'm sorry this was such a heavy one Capricorn, but you know, I hope that if it is your story, it was at least validating to, you know, to hear these messages and, and to see what came through. But um, thank you so much for watching and I will speak to you soon.